Kia ora, I'm Erin J Doyle. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Would You Rather tag. I saw this on Joey Paul's channel and I will leave a link in the description to her video as well as the original creator's video as well as the questions themselves. Speaking of which, number one, would you rather have a male main character or a female main character? I'm pretty much indifferent, but I probably lean towards female characters more just because that's my perspective, so I think that's probably my default. But I have quite a few male main characters planned for future stories. Number two. Would you rather wake up before dawn every day to write or stay up into the early morning hours to write? I'm definitely a stay up late person, but I think that's partially because I have a day job. I think if I get up in the morning and write, then I'm going to be distracted by the fact that I know I have to stop writing and get ready for work and catch the train and blah blah blah. Whereas once I'm home, that's it, I can just start writing and I don't have to worry about meetings or deadlines or anything like that, I can just keep going. So I wonder if I would shift to a more morning writer if I didn't have a day job. We will never know. Number three. Would you rather write a book that is torturous to write but which is very popular, or write a book that is fun to write but which is only known by a small audience? I think writing should be fun, so I'm going to have to go with the latter. Number four. Would you rather write a sci-fi story or a fantasy story? I have no preference at all, although I do tend to shove sci-fi into my fantasy, so I guess Sci-fi is technically the answer, even though I don't actually have a preference. <laughs> Number five. Would you rather use first person or third person? I don't think I really have a preference for this. Um, although I think... The number of people in your life who become confused between fact and fiction is higher when you write in first person. So to avoid difficulties from real life people who are maybe not so bright, um, third person would be the more convenient option. Number six. Would you rather meet any character of any book or short story in real life for one day or personally know any author you wish? I'm going to go with personally know an author because the phrasing here implies that this would actually be a more long-term thing and that's more useful and fulfilling as a relationship than just encountering someone briefly. Number seven. Would you rather only be able to write your book in scenes from end to beginning or only be able to write it in scenes that jump around in the timeline randomly? I think I... So I actually do the latter, but I would like to do the former. I think writing beginning to end would be very helpful if I could possibly do that. Um, but I, I really don't do that. Number eight. Would you rather only be able to write dialogue if you act out the voices out loud or only be able to write action if you act it out in real life? Um, well, in that case, I'm going to have to go with voices out loud because if I have to act out the actions in real life, then that's um, potentially going to require me to act out stuff that I couldn't physically pull off. Number nine. Would you rather publish with the most successful publishing house in your genre but have to wait two years to see your book in print or self-publish with no expense or marketing assistance but see your book in print within three months? I would rather go with the successful publishing house and a long wait. Number 10. Would you rather write a goofy story or write a serious story? Um, I, um, I've dithered, but I think my decision is serious story. I think. 
Mostly because I don't believe I can write funny and I feel like that would be a requirement for a goofy story. Number 11. Would you rather have an authorial voice that always sounds like the narrator from planet Earth or have an authorial voice that always sounds like Captain Kirk? Okay, without actually going and googling what this planet Earth voice is, because I don't know, um, I'm going to pick it anyway because I don't like the way Captain Kirk speaks. Number 12. Would you rather write a story knowing that you will have to kill off the main character eventually, or write a story knowing that everyone the main character is close to you will eventually have to kill off? I think I'd kill the main character. I think. Number 13. Would you rather leave your ending somewhat open and bittersweet or leave your ending on a cliffhanger? Open and bittersweet. Number 14. Would you rather have your cover art designed by Tim Burton or have your cover designed by Stan Lee? That depends on the book. Um, I think for the Camino story I'm currently working on, I'd probably go Tim Burton. For several of the other books I'm planning to write, it would be Stan Lee. Like, I just... How could you choose without knowing the story it's for? <laughs> Either would be glorious. Number 15. Would you rather write in many different genres or write only in one genre? Many different genres. Number 16. Would you rather write physical disability or mental illness? I write characters who have both. I am not going to pick one or the other. Number 17. Would you rather have an orphaned main character with good friends or a main character with a good sized family and family problems? Depends on the story. Um, I guess I'm, I'm going to go with orphaned main character with good friends. Number 18. Would you rather write the sex scene or not write the sex scene? I'm going to go with not write the sex scene. Number 19. Would you rather write about uncertain dangers and intrigue or write about direct confrontation and violence? I wish I could write uncertainty and intrigue. I don't think I'm very good at it. So I would rather that I could but I totally can't. It has to be direct. Okay, final question. Would you rather have to answer any question put to you by fans or have no fans asking you questions? I think I'd have to go with no fans asking you questions because even though I would be happy to answer questions, it's the phrasing of have to answer any question. No, 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 no. Like, that might result in spoilers. Unacceptable. So I would go with no questions being asked at all. That's the tag. If you want to do it, I invite you to do so and leave a comment down below to let me know that you're going to so I can see your video as well. If you've enjoyed this video, and maybe consider giving it a like. And if you're new around here, maybe hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so I can see you next time. Bye. Number 18. Would you rather...